hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video i am just going to show you how easy it is to add custom indicators to your metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 if you are running metatrader 4 and metatrader 5 on a mac apple mac computer many people uh, struggle with how do you then add your custom indicators to your metatrader 4 and metatrader 5 on a mac computer because i don't know for whatever reason metatrader 4 and metatrader 5 they seem to be okay straightforward when you are running them on a windows PC but when you come to running them on a MacBook or an iMac uh, there seems to be uh, like uh, a challenge uh, regarding like simple stuff like adding your custom indicators I do apologize for being quiet for uh, some time uh, I haven't been feeling well for the past week or so um, so actually when I came back that's when I discovered that uh, the Windows partition that I had on this iMac it actually corrupted and I lost data I lost uh, uh, some uh, stuff uh, that I did not want to lose and I just decided uh, not anymore let me just uh, get rid of uh, that Windows partition and start everything afresh so I've just installed MetaTrader 5 so you can actually see there is uh, still the demo account from because I just downloaded uh, MetaTrader 5 5 and MetaTrader 4 uh, straight from the MetaCourts uh, website. So it's a good opportunity to show you how you can add your custom indicators uh, because many people also ask me about uh, stuff like that. So traditionally if you are on a Windows PC you would simply go to file and you open data folder you go in there and you basically go into your uh, folder there and you basically add in uh, your indicators uh, like for example here unfortunately it doesn't work like that you 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 the um, mac os mac os will not allow you to add in your custom indicators in that data folder so what are you going to do because you probably have your custom indicators that you got from the internet or you got from me or you got from somewhere else that you want to use so the process that i'm going to show you basically works as uh, the same for metatrader 5 and metatrader 4 so what you're just going to need to do maybe let's just minimize uh, this window what you're going to need to do is go to your finder go to your finder and you go to go uh then you come to this section here don't click anything yet don't click anything here if you have a mac keyboard you are going to press option the option key if you have a windows uh, keyboard connected to your imac or macbook uh, like i have you are then going to use uh, the alt key so you press the alt key see what appeared we have uh, a, a folder that's called library that appeared if i let go of my alt or if you let go of your option key it disappears so you just want to click on alt or option and hold it and hold it then you basically left click uh, that folder or the normal click basically use the normal click to open that folder now when we come to this uh, folder you're going to be uh, to, to find that there's a lot of folders uh, that are here what we need is the folder that says application support that's the folder that we're going to be working in and we double click just go in there and then you will see the various programs that you actually have uh, installed on your machine but we need to go to i have my meta trader 4 there and my meta trader 5 there but we're just going to go to meta trader 5 so that we uh, keep this video quick and short so i'm just going to go double click go in there and it differs if you get your meta trader 4 from your broker or from the meta quotes website uh, like i did if you get it from your broker there might actually be some other uh, uh folders here and instead of bottles it might actually say wine bottler or something like that but here it says bottles so we are just going to go into the bottles folder and we see meta trader 5 again go in there and here we are going to go into drive c we 
going to drive C double click to go in there and here we have our various program file folders we are going to go to program files we double click and go in there and again here we find metatrader 5 that's where we want to be and double click and we go in there now we are back to uh, that familiar uh, directory that we all know from our windows uh, uh, uh metatrader 4 metatrader 5 then we go to mql5 you already know this is where we need to add our indicators so we go into indicators and there's the examples folder which is basically uh this uh folder is that a folder i don't know why uh, the rest are not appearing don't ask me why uh then so we have the examples folder here we just uh, need to uh, create a new folder for our custom indicators or you can do whatever you want but basically i love to just uh, create a new stuff so that i know the particular custom indicators that i'm going to work i can find them so i'm just going to label this folder as uh, and I'm going to double click and go in there. Then from uh, that crashed partition, I managed to save um, this system. I think I shared this system with you guys uh, on the blogs. See the links in the description box below. So uh, I'm going to just highlight everything and just copy and i'm going to paste it in this there now if i go back to my metal trader 5 it's still not there traditionally on pc you can uh, right click here and you refresh now it's there or you can do it the um, uh, it's the longer way of actually closing the window then restarting your metatrader 5 but either way it works the very same way now our za folder appears so we are just going to go in there now i have my uh, indicators my custom indicators available if i drag them into there and you can see they are working for example uh, let's just do a quick a quick example and okay let's go to one hour and then my indicator is working my indicator is working so that's basically what you need to do if you have any custom indicators that you want to add to your metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 on a mac machine and okay i'll do another video uh, about uh, customizing the indicators i don't want to make this video any longer than it should be so hopefully it helps you solve that uh, challenge guys i will see you in the next one if you have any more questions uh, challenges uh, ask me in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer your questions otherwise guys i will see you in the next one bye